Hey there, it's David with Yellow Weld. I'm checking in to do another part in our series on frequently asked questions and pricing. So today we're gonna to be talking about modified kegs. These are really common for use in the brewing industry and a big reason for that is they are accessible, they are affordable, and they are offered with a high degree of consistency right from the factory. So they, they end up being a really, really solid platform to start with that they can build into a variety of different projects. So for really small operations like home brewers, you can actually do a whole brewing and fermenting process within a keg for really small batches. So they're a good way for really small operations to get started. Um, for larger operations, they are used for two main things that I know of. There's, I'm sure that there's more things, but the first being yeast propagation so they can house a yeast culture um, that they can keep healthy and vibrant. This is beneficial for a variety of reasons. One is it can be costly to continually buying yeast for your brewing process. And there's maybe a higher degree of variation as far as the, the strain or the health of these different yeast cultures when you buy them this way. So by propagating your own yeast cultures, you have a little bit more agency and control over the type and the strain of this yeast, and it can help with the repeatability, so you know how long the fermentation process is going to take. Um, you can cut down on the byproducts that are less favorable in the fermentation process, and you can also cut down on the amount of yeast you need to use by having maybe a more potent strain of yeast. So these are all reasons that this is common to, to do. The other one that we see a lot is cleaning kegs. So this is, this is about as simple as it sounds. Is there's mixed solutions that they use for cleaning lines and cleaning piping and things like that. And so they're able to mix this solution ahead of time and then when they're ready for it they have it on hand and they can pump it right out of the keg so that makes it something that's kind of an efficient time saver type thing now there's a lot of variations for these like you can use them for so many different things so it's hard to boil this down into something super super concrete but what we generally see is pricing um, for labor, 400 to 700 is about what we normally see, and then another one to 200 in material cost for fittings and consumables and gas and things like that. And this can vary depending on the extent of the modifications that you're trying to do, and depending on whether or not you want casters on it or like a cart so it's easy to move around. These are really common things we see. Um, often, and, and this mind you is with a supplied keg which is mostly what we see is often branded kegs are used so when a keg is no longer suitable for service to be used as a keg whether the spear is damaged or something like that then we cut the spear out we put a new um, outlet usually like six to eight inch outlet and then it's the basis for a modified keg that they can use for a variety of different things so this is done the same way as like any other sanitary welding application is done. Uh, we have to prep it in the same ways. We cut the holes, we buff them, clean them, acetone, uh, minimize the amount of impurities and um, it, just anything that would negatively affect the weld quality we have to be very conscious of. And then we have to purge the tank. Uh, generally with argon to make sure that the internal weld on that is smooth and free of defects that could harbor bacteria. If this seems like something that you have more questions about or seems like something that might be applicable to something you're currently doing, uh, please reach out. We would be happy to answer any questions that you have or give you more exact pricing on your particular interests. Take care.